What's up guys, it's Boy English Twist, I take assist with another Joy to Click production video. What I'm going to be doing today is showing you how to take your freshly updated iOS 5 device, be it an iPhone, whatever, 3, 4, S, 5, Y, N, G, what... But as long as it's running iOS 5, you'll be good to go. Okay, so this is going to be a short and sweet, easy how-to video on how to jailbreak that puppy. Because if you like me, and you don't like what you get, you want more, you know that you can't live between Apple's boundaries, this video is for you, so you know what to do. Sit back, shut up, and follow along with me. All right? Lovely! Alrighty then, all right, let's kick this off guys. First things first, what you're gonna to need to have, freshly updated version of iOS 5. Go ahead, punch your iPhone or iPad into the iTunes, latest updated iTunes of 10.5, and update it to a new firmware. I, re I would suggest you just restore it, get rid of all the old skeletons, and have a fresh. That's what I like to do. Following that, you're going to need to download an independent iOS uh, beta 7 firmware okay I'll have links for that in the description so no worries don't even fret it's all taken care of you for you your boy English twist has got your back all right and after that you're also going to need the latest jailbreaking software which is this little beauty right here the red snow windows or Apple versions uh, red snow application 09.9 .9 beta 4 all right so again the links for those are in the description trot on over there download them while i'm doing this catch up if you can and we'll move right along all right lovely jubbly hopefully by now you've got all those little beauties under your belt go ahead and open up the red snow application actually you know what? before i do that right click the red snow application and go down to uh, properties and you're going to put this thing into compatibility mode and you want to hit the run the program in compatibility mode and just do the XP service pack 3 all right hit apply I've already done it so mine's grayed out and then you're going to run it as administrator I don't know if this makes any difference to the way the application runs but I've not had any problems by doing it in the past and I've been doing this stuff for a long bloody time now so just do it as I say and we won't have any problems lovely jubbly all right first of all you're gonna to have to point the app the software to the uh, iOS 5 device, so go ahead and select Extras, select IPSW, scroll down wherever you've got your IPSW, mine is on the uh, desktop. I remember I said to you the Beta 7 version, okay? Don't point this at the official iOS 5 uh, firmware, okay? So select uh, your, if, uh, if it's iPhone 4, it's gonna be iPhone 3 comma 1 underscore 5.0 underscore 9 alpha 5313 echo restore IPSW okay so hit OK on that so you're gonna get the acknowledgement that you've pointed it and it's correctly identified it so now you're gonna hit back on the red snow software and you're gonna jailbreak all right you're gonna get this kernel patching kernel rubbish let me just bring it back real quick so you can see my iPhone in the view as well and you're gonna do check box down here that says install Cydia hit next it's going to give you the DFU prompt. You're going to hit next and you're going to follow the on screen display. Okay? Uh, first of all, it says to turn off your phone, so let's turn off my phone. There we go. Turn off the bugger. Give it a second. I'll come back to you and it will now be off. Okay, now it's off. Let's go ahead and hit next and do an on screen display. Hold the power button for one, for three seconds. There we go, that's done. Now, without releasing the power button, also hold down the home button. That's the button center for four seconds. So I should do both of this. Okay, then it prompts you to release the power button. And without releasing the home button, continue to hold it. Okay, and then it'll tell you that it's done. And you're gonna release the home button, as you can see let it do its thing waiting for reboot as you can see downloading jailbreak data and this this is going to take a, a lengthy time so I'm just going to skip ahead of this and we'll come back to it when it's done all right 
Alright guys, so now we're back and it's done with its thing. Let's go ahead and unlock it and you'll see that you have a white uh, Cydia appli uh, white Cedar application. So without further ado, before we bugger around with it, because it will not work, you're going to come back to your uh, Red Snow application and this time you're going to select IPSW again, scroll down and find your IPSW, select the IPSW, remember the bait is 7, it'll give you the acknowledgement, hit OK, then you're going to just boot, OK, and again it will prompt you for the DFU process, so you can follow the on screen or if you know how to put your device in DFU mode, do it yourself, so, OK, and when you've done that, it'll uh, run the process to just boot from tethered. Again, this is a tethered jailbreak, so you have to bear with us until we get the untethered version. And you will need to run this just boot software every time you turn your device off. So my advice to you is, is if you know of any applications that need to be uh, boot, you will need to reboot your device. I would suggest that you install those in one package, get that reboot done, so then whenever you want to do some customization, some tweaks and treats, and it just calls for a springboard respring and you don't need to use this boot tethered application, uh, you know, just knock it out and get it out of the way on the first couple of goes, okay? So once this comes back, you'll see, okay, you can see it's doing its thing with the pineapple and it should boot up here in a second. We'll have our freshly jailbroken iOS 5 device. Give it a second because it will be laggy. There we go. Lovely jubbly, go to the screen and boom, there she is. There is our city icon, fully functional iOS 5 with the drop down menus as you can see, let it load and Bob's your uncle, Mary's your aunt. There you go. So if you're like me, you like to live outside the Apple's red tape rubbish and you wanna do a little bit more with your iOS device, hopefully you found this video useful and check out my channel for any more useful tricks and treats and that's no pun intended for the halloween season but you know it works so hey let's roll with it people and on that note i hope this has been a treat joy to click.com go check them out check out my other videos and until then get at english t tweets on twitter and shout out like this video if you want all right goodbye